up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today I am going to be doing a review of the upcoming Buff Bunny Collection Frozen launch. The launch goes live at 12 a.m. on Black Friday Central Standard Time. So here in Colorado I am on Mountain Time so that is 11 p.m. on the 26th Thanksgiving Day, 12 a.m. Central Standard Time on Black Friday the 27th. As always, before we get started, everything that I talk about in this video will be listed in the description box down below, along with all of my personal links, discount codes, and measurements for reference. I also did want to mention that I do have a Buff Bunny Collection support code. The support code is just my first name, Shannon. Thank you so, so much to any of you who choose to use my code. I so appreciate you for choosing to support me. So without further ado, Let's hop into it. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you I have on right now, this is the Frozen Cami and Frozen Short in the color Mistletoe, and I'm wearing both of these in my regular size small. Actually, I'm pretty sure every single thing that I have in this video is a size small, so in case I forget to mention it, everything's a size small. So as you can see, both of these are made from a crushed velvet fabric. It is super soft and comfortable and stretchy. The cami is cropped. It has a built-in shelf bra with removable cup pads and adjustable straps. And then the shorts are high rise. They have a drawstring waistband. They actually have zipper pockets on both sides. They have little pockets back here on the booty and the inseam is pretty short. It's only about a one inch inseam. So I just thought that this was the absolute cutest set and they also offer a dress. It's like a cami dress with a little slit up the side and I was struggling to choose between the dress and this but I just figured it's 2020. I'm not really doing much this year so I feel like I would rather have like a like more like lounge casual outfit than the dress but the dress is super cute too but overall I really like this set I think it's super cute I love crushed velvet for the holidays it's definitely very in theme a lot of brands bring out their crushed velvet around the holiday season and this is Buff Bunny's first time doing it so I'm pretty excited about that a couple things that I will point out I definitely do think that the top runs big I got this in a size small but I probably would have been better off with an extra small because the shelf bra underneath it is really pretty loose here which for me is not a huge takeaway for something that I'm just gonna be kind of like lounging in but if you do want this to actually provide support I definitely would size down in the cami and as far as the shorts go a lot of you who watch my videos often know that I usually do size up in shorts but with the cut of these shorts, I actually have another pair of Buff Bunny shorts that's a similar cut to these, and I felt like they ran a little bit big in the waist, so I decided not to size up in the shorts and just go with a size small, and I'm definitely glad that I did. I think if I would have sized up to the medium, they would have been too big in the waist. Definitely do keep in mind also that these are a short short. Like I said, there's only like a one inch inseam, so they stop like right underneath my booty, which for me personally, this is an outfit Fit that like I'm probably not gonna really wear anywhere besides just like lounging around the house so it's not a big deal if in my own home my butt is popping out of something because no one's gonna see it besides maybe Andre and he'll probably be happy about that anyway so I don't really care in my own home but if this is something that you want to wear like outside of your home definitely keep in mind these are pretty short shorts I probably would even like sleep in this as well it's pretty comfortable and I don't see anything being like too restricting or like digging in. So honestly, you could wear this as like PJs. Up next, we have the Revolution bra in the color Alaska in my regular size small and the Live Free legging also in the color Alaska, also in my regular size small. So the Revolution bra is one of my all time favorite Buff Bunny bras and I'm so glad that they keep bringing it back because I feel like everybody needs this bra. <laughs> this is a 
Longline Sports Bra. It is a racer back cut with a super strappy back and it has removable cut pads. The fabric is super soft and stretchy. I would say that this is a medium support sports bra because it does show a little bit of cleave but not like a ton. And I have to say my absolute favorite part about this sports bra is how far out the straps go on the side. Basically, if you are someone who doesn't like armpit fat like hanging over the side of a top or a sports bra this is the perfect sports bra for you because the straps go out so far that it covers up your armpit fat it doesn't like squeeze anything out there so that is my absolute favorite part about this sports bra it's just very comfortable because i find a lot of times in regular sports bras i'll be like yanking them out all the time on the sides like you'll see me do this because i'm trying to get it to go over my armpit fat. <laughs> okay, now moving on to the live free leggings. So these are a high rise legging. They are seven, eight length, maybe a little bit longer than seven, eight length, maybe like a 26 inch inseam, I would guess. They have a seamless waistband, no front seam. You guys know how happy I am about everyone getting rid of front seams to take care of the toe issue, you know? So no front seam on these and an exaggerated booty contour seam on the back. So these are a new pair of leggings from Buff Bunny Collection. I do not believe they've been released before. Um, the fabric is the exact same as the sports bra. It's a super soft, stretchy, I would say like medium compression fabric. And honestly, these are probably one of my new favorite Buff Bunny Collection leggings because I just think they're so flattering, they're so comfortable. I actually wore this exact outfit yesterday working out and I just felt super good in it. And even Andre was like, girl, you're looking good. I think he also really just liked the color of this, but all together, it's just very comfortable. I love long line sports bras. I love high rise leggings without the front seam. I love an exaggerated booty contour seam on the back. I just feel like it's very, very flattering on the glutes. So all together, these two are winners and I'm very excited about them. So up next we have the Denali sports bra in the color 50 below, also in a size small, and the Lynx leggings in the color 50 below, also in a size small. So this is a regular length sports bra with a super strappy back and removable cup pads. It is made from the same buttery soft fabric as the last two items that I showed you. And I would say that this sports bra is definitely light support. So I wouldn't necessarily say that this sports bra runs big, but because it is light support, I would say that if you wanted a little bit more support, you could size down in this. I think I could have done an extra small and it probably Probably would have been a little bit more supportive. I definitely love the super open strappy back. Very minimalistic back there shows off your whole back. But if you're familiar with my channel, you probably know that I definitely prefer long line sports bras as opposed to this shorter length. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's just like the support and the coverage. I prefer that a little more. So I definitely wouldn't say that this is one of my favorite Buff Money Collection sports bras, but it is very cute and a good option if you're a fan of a strappy back and a shorter length. Okay, moving on to the Lynx legging. So these are a high rise legging. They are also seven, eight length or maybe a little longer, just like the previous legging that I showed you. They have contour contrast panels along the thighs in a different color. So most of the legging is navy or as they call it 50 below. And this little contrast panel is black. These do not have a front seam. My favorite, love that. And these also have the exaggerated booty contour seam on the back. So these are also made from the exact same 
super soft fabric as the sports bra. I feel like these would not only go really well with the same color sports bra, but also any black sports bra would look really good because it would go with this little black panel here. One thing I will mention about these is they don't feel as high rise as the live free leggings that I just showed you. Those ones were like a true high rise. And I would say these ones are more like in between mid rise and high rise. They're definitely more high rise than mid rise. As you can see, they go up over my belly button, but just barely. Again, if you watch my channel often, you know that I'm 5'7", so I'm a little on the taller side. I do have a somewhat longer torso, so a lot of times things that are high rise on other people aren't exactly as high rise on me. So I would definitely keep that in mind if you want a true, true high rise. These probably aren't it, but if you're a shorter or have a shorter torso or just prefer a little bit lower rise, I feel like these would be a good option. Up next, we have the Juno sports bra in the color black ice, also in a size small. So again, this sports bra is made from the super buttery soft fabric. It is a racer back cut and it also has a super detailed strappy back back here and removable cup pads. So this sports bra is also a shorter length, but it definitely provides a little bit more coverage than the last sports bra that I showed you. So I actually do think that I prefer this one more because I usually just like a little more coverage, a little more support. I would say that this is a medium support sports bra. And of course, I love the strappy back. This is definitely a very unique design. I don't have any other sports bras with this back detail back here. So I am definitely a fan of this one. The next thing that I have is the Monarch sports bra, also in the color black ice, also in my regular size small. So this sports bra is long line, not super, super long line, but it definitely is more long line than the regular short length sports bras. It is V cut in the front and the straps go straight up and down in the back, which I talk about in videos all the time. I love having options that are not racer back to take some pressure off my traps because when I wear racer back sports bras too often, they dig into my traps and it can get really uncomfortable. So I love having options like this and they still manage to do a strappy back detail even with taking away the bracer back so it's super open back and it also has a cute little unique strappy design back there and this sports bra is also made from the same super buttery soft fabric I would say support wise this is right in between light and medium support because it's long line it does give you a little bit more support than light support but it is still low cut so I would say it's right between light to medium the monarch bra is one of my favorite buff money collections sports bras. I have it in several colors. The Monarch bra and the Revolution bra are my two favorite Buff Bunny Collection sports bras. I would have to say, I think the Revolution bra I like a little bit more. I wear it a little bit more often, probably just because it's a little bit more supportive, but this is a close second. Okay, up next we have the Northern Lights jacket in the color black stone in my regular size small, and the Northern Lights legging also in the color black stone, also in my regular size small. So this is a full zip jacket. It is tapered at the waist. It has pockets on the front. It has little thumb holes and it also has a little hood here with drawstrings as well. So fabric wise, this is a slick fabric and it also has a sheen to it. The shape of the jacket definitely reminds me a lot of the Lululemon Define jacket. If you're familiar with that, just with the waist taper, which is one of my favorite Lululemon jackets. And this one will probably cost less than that. But I definitely think it is very flattering. It is a little tight on my arms for my liking. I usually like things 
seems to be a little looser on my arms, but because it's black, I'm not really worried about pit stains or anything like that. Um, and I feel like if I would have sized up to a medium, it would have been too loose in the torso. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the small. Even if it's a little tight on my arms, I prefer it to be fitted in the torso. Okay, now moving on to the leggings. So these are a high rise legging. They are full length. They also do not have a front seam. Bless up to getting rid of front seams. These are made from the same material as the jacket and they do not have a contour seam on the glutes. So I am definitely a fan of these leggings. They are a true high rise. They do not have a front seam. I would say they are medium compression, but they, they actually have a decent amount of stretch to them, so I don't feel suffocated in them. I definitely would have preferred there to be the exaggerated booty contour seam. I love that, but I know that not everyone wants that exaggerated seam there, so you know, it's all good. I I probably will work out in these leggings, but I honestly see myself wearing these leggings just as like a regular legging for casual wear more than I would wear them in the gym. I actually did see another girl talk about how these are very similar to the super, super popular Spanx faux leather leggings. And I actually do have these Spanx faux leather leggings and I would have to agree, these are very similar, but I actually am not gonna lie, I think I like these more because these Spanx leggings are more of that in-between mid to high rise and on me, you know, I like my true high rise with my long torso. So I actually do prefer these over the Spanx faux leather leggings. Now I will point out that there is the Buff Bunny logo back here. Um, so if you were to wear these with like a crop top, it would be very obvious that you're wearing them with like activewear leggings, um, whereas the Spanx ones don't have that. But I wear the Spanx ones with like long sweaters and stuff over them and cardigans and stuff. And I could totally see myself wearing these with the same kind of outfits. Up next, we have the lower 48 crop in the color frosted in my regular size small. So this is just a basic cami crop top. It does not have a built-in shelf bra or anything like that, so you definitely would need to wear a bra underneath it, in my opinion. These straps go straight up and down, and they actually dip pretty low, so it has a nice open back. Would definitely show off a cute little strappy sports bra back there. The fabric is a silky smooth, stretchy fabric, and I would say lengthwise, this is a pretty modest crop. It's not like super, super cropped like this. It actually goes right down to the top of a pair of high rise leggings. So overall, I do like this crop top. Honestly, not a ton to say about it. It's just a good basic crop top if you're in the market for them. Up next, we have the hibernation hood in the color frosted in my regular size small. So this is a full length hoodie, which actually it's odd that it's called a hoodie because it's just a like loose turtleneck. It doesn't actually have a hood. So I'm a little bit confused as to why it's called a hoodie, um, but it's full length and it has little thumb holes on the end of the sleeves and it's made from a soft stretchy material and the inside, it almost feels a little bit like super soft stretchy scuba material. Not sure if that makes sense, if you have any idea what I'm talking about, but those are the vibes that I'm getting from this. So I'm gonna be completely honest, this is not my favorite piece. Um, if you guys are familiar with me and my taste and my videos, I either like things to be cropped or super oversized. Um, I feel like this is kind of like an awkward in-between, like, it's kind of boxy and you can't really tell if I have any shape. Um, so overall, this is just not my favorite piece and it's not really my style. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like my mom might like something like this, so I might give this to my mom and she might really appreciate it, um, but it's just not for me. Okay, the last thing we have here is the teddy coat in the color First Snowfall and I got this in the size small slash medium.
So this teddy coat is made from a super soft, warm teddy coat material. The inside is the same fabric as the outside, which I feel like that's important to note because sometimes teddy jackets, the inside, the material is different than the outside. It has pockets on the sides. It actually has little cuffs at the end of the sleeves to kind of make sure it stays on your arms really tight, I guess. It has a loose hood and to keep it closed, it is not a zip up teddy coat it just has a little button here and it has a little like hook clasp right here so I believe Buff Bunny Collection first launched their teddy coat it was either last year or the beginning of this year and I didn't get one and I was kind of bummed about it so I was very excited to see that they were coming back so I could snag one and it's definitely very soft warm, comfortable. I feel like this is a jacket that I could just easily throw over anything because it is nice and oversized. If I was very, very cold and I wanted a jacket like for warmth, this probably wouldn't be my first choice because it doesn't zip up in the front here, but it is a nice like layering piece, especially because it's nice and oversized. So you can be wearing like a long sleeve or like a sweater or something underneath it. Um, so you could layer this on top really easily. So that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions about anything in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer those for you. Also let me know what your favorite pieces are, what you're planning on snagging, what you're planning on leaving behind. It's always very interesting for me to hear other people's perspectives to see if they agree with me or if they're like, nah Shannon you're crazy. Again, my Buff Bunny Collection support code is just my first name, Shannon, and thank you so much to any of you who choose to use my code. One last thing I did want to mention that I totally forgot to mention in the beginning is the Buff Bunny Collection Black Friday sale is actually going to be starting at the exact same time as this launch. So even though you're gonna have to stay up kind of late on Thanksgiving to be there right when the launch starts, I would recommend being there right when the launch starts because not only are there going to be these items from the Frozen launch, but there are going to be tons of other items on the website that are going to be marked down for Black Friday. So that is it you guys, happy shopping, happy holidays, and I will catch you next time.